Questo video è offerto da Il Tavolo Italiano. Salve, bentornati. Il Tavolo Italiano è felice di presentarvi la nascita del nostro gruppo. Nel video parlerò lentamente e chiaramente in inglese mentre le parole appariranno sul video per aiutarvi ad imparare l'inglese. In questo video continuerò a raccontare la storia dell'inizio del nostro gruppo, il tablo italiano. Se volete, leggete le parole mentre io parlo. Spero che troverete questo video utile. Per favore, fateci sapere cosa ne pensate. Pronti? Cominciamo. Comprensioni di inglesi, lezione 5. La storia del nostro gruppo, capitolo 5. Chapter 4 ended with the decision that it was time as a group to do something to help those that wanted to learn Italian. So, in June of 2009, we did just that or made our first attempt at doing so. That summer, we started having our first Italian language workshop called Verb Drills, named after the book by Paola Nani Tate. I made a few decisions right off the bat when starting this workshop. They were first, we would not copy anybody's work so that meant everybody had to buy a book. We were not going to copy them, at least not as a group with my knowledge. Second, I would charge one dollar per person per meeting. I know that's, that a dollar seems like nothing, but at that point in time, my knowledge of Italian was very limited. Even at that, there was one particular class when a new person came and questioned me about the one dollar. Truth be known, not only did I not profit, but spent way more than I earned as I drove over 30 miles each way to this one hour class that started with about eight people and ended up with about four or five people. But in reality, that was okay. Because this was the greatest group of people that I could have ever hoped to have studied with. To be honest, I am sure I learned as much, if not more, than they did. I loved the time that we had together. We had a blast while learning about basic verb tenses. Who would have thought learning could be so much fun? Well, about two months into our first language course, my son Adam and I decided to create a website in addition to the meetup.com website. We wanted to use this website as a resource for those who wanted to learn Italian. At this time, we were only thinking about people here in the Charleston, South Carolina area using it. So about mid-August, we launched our group website. I wanted to call it theitaliantable.com, but that domain name was already taken so we decided to use the same name, just in Italian. Italiano.com. The website was very modest when we started. We literally built it one page at a time. For the first 45 days, it generated some interest, but by the end of the year, the use of the website had slowed to a crawl. I think this was mostly because there just wasn't that much information on the site yet, and to be honest, 
I didn't make enough of an effort at keeping it fresh and adding new material. By the end of 2009, we probably had about a 30-page website with 5 to 10 people a day looking at it. We still had a study population of about 4 in our only workshop. Our group had grown to almost 100 members, and some of our social events were beginning to get larger as well. We had a member throw a party at his house that ended up having about 34 people show up. For us, that was huge. The biggest turnout we had ever had. Up until then, the average event, dinner at a restaurant, or gather at somebody's home, was about 15, with an occasional event over 20. So this was the biggest of Il Tavolo, excuse, so this was the beginning of Il Tavolo Italiano. But it hardly sounds like the group we have today. In August of 2012, having over 450 members, 45,000 page impressions monthly on iltavoloitaliano.com, over 10,000 monthly YouTube viewings, not to mention the work events, or weekly events, excuse me, the workshops, and the nearly 900 page website. How did that all come about? Who did it all? Where is it going? Is there something for you at iltavoloitaliano.com? Eh, stay tuned. Find out. iltavoloitaliano.com Grazie mille per aver ascoltato questa serie. Come è andata? Hai capito tutto? Forse hai capito un po'? Forse non hai capito nulla? In ogni caso, non rinunciare. Puoi imparare, ma necessiti di fare pratica. Vorrei suggerirti di ascoltare questa storia fino a quando capirai tutte le parole. Inoltre, puoi trovare altro materiale sul nostro sito www.iltavoloitaliano.com È tutto gratis. Ciao, grazie mille e spero di sentirvi presto.